When male characters in anime and manga get nosebleeds, there isn't that much to think about, you know? Um, it's pretty easy to understand, it's obvious, you know? This male character will see like an attractive female character, and the female character will do something sexual or like wink at them, and the male character, you know, his nose will start bleeding. You know, it's really easy to understand. Uh, people who watch it understand the meaning, and you move on from it, you don't really think about it. But it does bring up the question, like, why do they get nosebleeds? Um, if you look at real life, you don't see a bunch of guys in real life getting nosebleeds every time they see like an attractive girl or a girl does like something furry to them you know so it's like why does it have to be a nosebleed so i came across this question while i was browsing the interwebs and pretty much there isn't really any big meaning behind it um people have tried coming up with like scientific theories and they said because anime characters have bigger eyes it means their facial structure is like different than regular humans and their nasal cavities or nose holes or whatever is much bigger so when like the blood starts flowing you know it comes out through the nose and blah 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 and i'm like you know what that's too much thinking about it like that's too much thought like calm down i don't think it's any of that like none of this anatomy or whatever bullshit you know it's like come on guy you know this is this, these are like freaking anime it's like a cartoon it's like don't get too much into it so anyway the real meaning behind it is pretty much Japanese folklore. Back in the day, I guess the Japanese people used to say that, um, you know, when males get turned on, you know, the blood starts flowing. Um, same with females, you know, the blood starts flowing. And when they become like really, really turned on, boom, blood comes out of the nose, you know? But that is not true. Um, scientifically, like when people get aroused, like yes, the blood does start flowing, but it's not enough to like cause a nosebleed. Like that's not gonna happen. If people out there are getting turned on and start bleeding from their nose, that's more like a medical problem you know that's something that should be like you know checked out by a doctor or something so anyway that's not true um the, the reason for the nosebleeds in anime is actually from an old manga so pretty much back in the late 1960s there was a manga artist called Yasuji Tanyoka and pretty much he made a bunch of humor manga and he came up with a brilliant idea to have these characters who would see a girl start bleeding from their nose because I mean it's funny you know it's a way of expression and pretty much he came up with the idea that it was funny whatever and in today's world manga artists have pretty much all based their ideas off of him it became like something that became like oversaturated every anime and manga does it. it doesn't matter which anime or manga does it there's always going to be that one perverted character that has the nosebleeds and you know they say he's the origin because i guess there's a uh, yasuji tanyoka guy was one of the first guys to do it and i guess it's like the only guy on record so that's the origin you know I mean, you know, every manga artist does it and it kind of makes sense because how else are you gonna express um, a character's sexual arousal, you know? Because they're not gonna put anything like too extreme on TV or in manga, you know? They're not gonna have like a male character go up to a girl, get attracted to her and like zoom in on his crotch, you know, like you, you, whatever, you know? Like they're not gonna do that, like it's too, too sexual. So the best way to express male characters being perverts is through nosebleeds. It's nothing scientific, it's just a way of expression and that's all there is to it now i understand that they do the nosebleeds instead of like the zooming into the crotch and showing like all these bulges because anime slash manga is targeted towards kids but it kind of makes me question like why do they even bring it up you know if it's meant for kids why do they show these girls like showing like their boobs you know bending over like about to take off their clothes you know like <laughs> it's meant for kids right so i mean i guess it's just to play it safe but also kind of throw in that humor in there. I don't know, it's kind of hard to understand sometimes. So anyway, that's the answer to that question. You know, it's nothing scientific. It's just a way for manga and anime to show a male characters being perverts without getting too sexual about it. And recently, female characters have also been getting like nosebleeds. So I mean, it's just a way of uh, expression for when characters are perverts. There's nothing else to it. You know, don't base it off your life because in real life that doesn't happen. Simple question, simple answer, don't think too much about it and yeah just wanted to make this quick video thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one all right peace out